privacy uh, and it exposed greed once again you know people taking advantage of a global crisis to make money uh, and as as always uh, the first thing that occurs to me whenever i watch your work is how did you know this was going on um could you it's nice to be back here. It's a pleasure to have you. Sure. So, um, in the midst of the pandemic, I happened to be out there working. Mm. Then I zoomed home. Then there's an announcement that there is a lockdown. And you are like, um, first two, three, four days, you're already bored. You want to ask, what else could be happening? Mm. And when you go to your inbox, the messages that people send, these are the things. You know, we are a product of the people. When the people talk, we want to follow. So I got in touch with my colleagues and we said, okay, let's see what we're doing. In the midst of announcing packages, great packages for citizenry, what are people doing again? And so this film is actually in two parts. One focuses on fake cures and how people made a lot of money from that. And then the second one will look at thievery. Whilst there was this announcement by the president of nice incentives, good food and all that, being packaged for us, as well as good PPEs being sent. There were people who were very busy, as usual, stealing. But, uh, wait, people who work for the state? Of course, because if you work in a government hospital and you decide to steal, I don't want to, I'm teasing you a little. Mm -hmm. you bet. <laughs> Part two is coming and I tell you, 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 you would love it. Wow, yeah. wow. It, wow. It's sad, you see, in the midst of this pandemic, where we all... Um, people die every minute in this world of this pandemic. Yeah. No cure. Um, it's shaking our economy. Uh, our jobs are all... And people can still plot and to, to steal. That, that's, that's one thing that came out very strongly. That mm -hmm. For some people, uh, every opportunity is an opportunity to steal. And so they will make use. The first part of the film, which we focus on today, it's about Corona cures, quack cures. Right. Here, the basic aim was to say that who are those parading themselves as having cures and what at all is in the cure? Right. Look, I'm a strong believer of herbal medicine, and um, I take herbal medicine myself, but I would want to ensure that whatever medicine I take into my system um, is properly certified and has gone through the necessary scientific tests for me to put in my system. Now, we're in this fast mood where some people thought that within this one, two months, we could make huge sums of money. Hmm. So, in the film, you see it begins from Nigeria where I go and meet a chemist hmm. who claims he has a cure for cancer, he has a cure for, of course, corona, he has a cure for um, um, HIV. <laughs> we all know that there are no cures for this. Yeah. We see a herbalist who also demonstrates. We see um, a pastor who also demonstrates his curing abilities. <laughs> for me, these are fine. People can have these beliefs. But at the end of the day, if we don't match these things with science, then we are not joking. Right. Then we are joking. Mm. So then I move back to Ghana, which is where I will be, because which is where I am, because of lockdown yeah and i want to look at what people have put out there so two people come into mind during the investigation koa fx and the abdallah brothers yeah, yeah. the abdallah brothers are situated in the eastern region of ghana and, um, they have a very good herbal shop where a lot of people visit them. and on tv they will tell you publicly that they have a cure for corona but it is going through tests so they were on TV. They were on TV. They were not yeah. hiding in a corner no, no, somewhere. No, they were on right. TV. And they had a caveat that they are not selling the product. But you need to go behind the scenes. And going behind the scenes is the only time you would be able to tell. So we decided for the Abdallah brothers, right. go into the scene. We went and met them in that region. We spoke to them. They decided that, listen, okay, um, we want to sell to you. Um, same with Koa FX. If you go on their website, they yeah. demonstrate that they, they, they are very emphatic that what they have doesn't cure Corona. Okay. You go behind, like, oh, I did go behind the scene, asked the, their manager at that branch, and he said, well, we don't only just cure Corona. We also will give you a prescription of how to take our medication 
so that you get cured. So he indeed gave me a prescription of how to take the core <laughs> effects medication. Look, I'd, I'd, like I said, I believe in herbal medicine. I believe. And you know, core FS is registered as a food supplement. That's, That's right. what it is. Yeah. It is not meant to cure anything. So there will be red flags as soon as an attendant tells you that it's meant to cure and goes ahead to give you a prescription of how to take it on mm. paper. So eventually, I put all this together and I asked myself, okay, so what do I do? Match it against scientific tests. Where can I get the test? You get the Ghana Standards Authority. Yeah. That's, you know, it's ISO certified, one of the best in the world. They have all the machines. So I took it through a test, um, both that of Abdala and COIFX. Of course, COIFX came out um, as an wholesome product, not fit for human consumption. Mm. And it had mold, and the product they call phosphine, and phosphine um, is also not good for human yeah. consumption. So um, basically, that was on COIFX. Now, going back to the Abdallah brothers, who I mean, packaged as much as uh, 150 bottles for me to buy, and it was at the cost of $225,000. So we are not what? talking about people committing crime. We are talking about crime that is aimed at fleecing every city you have in your pocket. You know, so a lot of money for 150 bottles. Yeah, so which runs about thousand cities or more. Yeah, yeah. So eventually, I get <laughs> up and then I go to interview the FDA, who were already running the <coughs> investigation. In fact, to be honest with the FDA, their first investigation on core effects that led to pulling down all their yeah. uh, uh, recall, a uh, market recall of the program. They found E. coli, and E. coli is a manifestation of yeah. feces, intestinal. Uh, yeah. Uh, matter and all that. So, to be fair to them, they had already taken that step. What I did was to go behind the scene to find out whether indeed what they claimed on their website was actually happening. Right. So, we, the film takes you to the Abdallah Brothers, their production site, because we followed the FDA and their independent research. Mm. And then they go and here is uh, plenty bottles that they were doing, they were putting together. And the Abdullah brothers <laughs> throw out a lot of names. For example, they mentioned the name of the Asante yeah. as uh, them doing a deal of $150,000 with him. Of course, we will cross-check all that. We cross-check, we realize that they were peddling lies. Mm. They put out names of ministers that we realized they were lying about. Mm. And the funny one is when they mentioned the, the president of, uh, the vice president of Senegal, who I <laughs> called them, and they want to treat treat uh, him and his oh, family. Gosh. And guess what? There was no there's no vice president for Senegal. So exactly. That's that's basically <laughs> the story. Okay, now um one thing I noticed because I watched I watched it last night mm. and I mean I was fascinated by it. I I I always find it Look, interesting within, watching within a few hours reports. on the BBC website we had had half a million viewers. That yeah. tells you how far mm -hmm. this has gone, yeah. Yeah, um, but one thing I realized, well, and afterwards I rushed to social media, you know, to see what people are saying about it, and I realized that perhaps people had the rug pulled from under their feet because they were expecting something else. You know, they are they are kind of used to anas uh, exposing things that no one else could possibly have found. But I noticed on social media that people were uh, were wondering, oh, but this one. Uh, you know, any 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 journalist could have done this. We need an ask for the things we can't do or the things others can't do. Uh, but you know, now he's doing things that well, you could expect any journalist to to be able to do quite easily without the resources uh, and the skill and experience that an ask has. <laughs> you know, so people are wondering, ah, so what does, well, does this, you know, what does this mean? If you look at my history, yeah, look, Nigerian quack doctors, mm. look, stories, we talk about stories on from the orphanage, we talk about stories of, on children, we talk about human trafficking, all this I've done for so many years, yeah. you know me, and you yeah. know the kind of stories I do. Mm. First of all, what do we look out for? We look out for people-centered stories. That has been my hallmark. Mm. Um, if people want to associate me, and I can understand them, we are in a political season. People want to see ministers fall. Yes, that's fine feeling if you have. Mm. But we're going to stick to the issues. What are the issues? And that's one mistake we can make as journalists to let people's interests overshadow. So people have said that take a swipe at government, remove a minister, remove that. 
a political season. And mm. uh, the number one and biggest problem that we face is COVID. That's what it is. Mm. And if social workers are dying on the field because they don't have PPEs, because someone is stealing them, if government has put out social intervention projects mm. and people are stealing the raw food that is meant for the poor, what is more important than that? So yes, question. those who want to see their ministers, fine, but it, every day cannot be for ministers. No, it's mm. not like that. Society is much bigger than that. And I've never practiced my journalism focusing on ministers. That's not who I have been. My history tells it all. I, I'm a believer of children's rights, people's rights, mm. and I speak to society. What society tells me to do is what I do. This whole investigation happened within the COVID period. That's what it is. Yeah. Well, when we come back, Anas will be answering some of your questions. Uh, we're picking a few of them uh, for you. But right now, though, um, the Joy Business Minute. Enjoy. It is time for the Joy Business Minute, brought to you by Consolidated Bank Ghana. We stand with you. Tax analyst William Dementia is warning of some challenging times for the economy in months ahead. The fiscal data shows that revenue reached 10.3 billion cities, down by 3.6 billion cities. The Private Enterprise Federation has called on the Bank of Ghana to deepen sanction against businesses still quoting prices of goods and services in dollars. The country's foreign exchange regulation bars any form of pricing, quoting or selling in foreign currency. It is believed that this practice has contributed to the perennial pressure on the city. The European Union has named 14 countries whose citizens are deemed safe to be let in from the 1st of July despite the coronavirus pandemic. Those names include Australia, Canada, Japan, Morocco and South Korea. And that's it for the Joy Business Minute. Cuts to Consolidated Bank Ghana. We stand with you. You welcome back. That was the Joy Business Minute brought to you by Cons uh, Consolidated Bank of Ghana, CBG. We stand with you. Now, nothing is impossible, even in these challenging times. CBG, your most trusted bank, gives you star 924 hash. Um, get digi with it, making it easier to get used to um, the normal of banking and business transactions. With Star 924 Hash, get digi with it. You can conveniently perform banking transactions anywhere at any time. So bank safe with CBG using Star 924 Hash and get digi with it. You may alternatively use their ATMs and electronic platforms. Now, all branches are open and poised to serve you with first-class customer service should you need in-branch services. Note that uh, CBG enforces all safety directives for both staff and for you, their cherished customers. Follow them on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at CBG Bank Limited for Further inquiries call 0302 216 000. Get digi with it with CBG star 924 hash CBG. We stand with you. All right, then. So uh, let's see if we can get a few of your questions. There was one up there at the top I wanted to put to Anas. And uh, where is it gone? Okay. Let's read this one. It says, Good morning, Kujo. Uh, good work, Anas did. You can't blame the quacks 100% because they're learning from political leadership, churning out fakes as real and profiling from those fakes, uh, sorry, profiting from those fakes big time. So true is a saying, uh, leadership is cause, all else is effect. William sends this from Gumwa and he sees all of this to be uh, caused by our leaders. Okay, now um, there are some questions for Prof. Atifa, who uh, we'll be speaking to next. But there was one here for a nurse which has. Ah, here we are. What is this about? This one says, please ask Anas why he refused to premiere the number 11, which is the expose on Parliament, and jump to number 12, and has even continued premiering other ones. However, he should continue doing the good work uh, for Mother Ghana. <laughs> Thank N you. Number 11? <laughs> number 11. You know, Kojo, the beautiful thing that I enjoy about this country is the confidence they repose in me. So someone just gets up in the morning, looks at Parliament, and thinks that 
there should be a number 11 for parliament and says that and so why is number 11 I, one day somebody has me ah, but me i haven't even seen number three and number <laughs> three is supposed to be for the ministry of education <laughs> okay, hey, so they have the, assigned numbers yes the, mm. the key thing is the confidence that mm. people repose in us as journalists and i think that uh, we have to live up to it yeah people want to see something on parliament you cannot manufacture anything when there is nothing We've never said anywhere that we've done any work on Parliament. So, but we have you? We, we haven't. But we, 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 people ask us questions. That mm. uh, you are general. Have you done or would you do any work on Parliament? Yeah. I don't know. These are questions that it depends. If the people clamor for it, why not? We will do it. But, but it's not something you've already done. I, if I had done it, it would be out. I'll put it out for you. Right. But it's not done. Okay. All right. Here's here's a question. Um, please ask Anas when the part two is coming out. I guess they're talking about it. Uh, yeah. So um, uh, the BBC would show this in two three weeks time, and um, I'm sure that we'll put out a lot of promo mm. on that. Yeah. All right. Now um, uh, here's a, here's another one, and it says Anas always excites me when he announces a new work. This time, my expectations were dashed. Anas is bigger than this. Has he lost relevance because of Kennedy at Japan's attacks? Well, um, because of sub judicial issues, I wouldn't want to mention individuals here. But hey, we have a film that in a few hours, we had half a million viewers watching on the BBC website. Um, we have an issue that is relevant that our president talk, talks about every day. Uh, people are entitled to their opinions of which political or which minister you want to see for. That's fine. Mm. I'm a journalist. I look at what's happening in society and I mirror it. I can also perfectly understand him that we are in a political season. People are in a hurry to see. But look, my tradition has been that political times, I don't do political stories. No, I don't. It's always been like that for me over the years. Kwekubaku will confirm this over and over. You don't so do political I don't exposes do in election year, uh, for yes, example. Uh, Why not? No, because that's my. I'm, I'm not the one to swing the pendulum on anybody's behalf. Let it be a fair playing field. Let not anybody take advantage of my work to mm. go and stand on that campaign trail and do it. Not the year of politics. Let's, let's analyze our politicians based on the facts they put out to us mm. as human beings. But is that not the year, for example, of, uh, you know, an e election year, the year during which people need to know the most about their yeah. politicians? W what do you need to know the most about your politics? Whatever politi you have found what out. <laughs> I like the confidence you put in me. Everybody wants to know. So what do you have? I am saying that we vote for politicians based on their policies. That's mm. what we vote for them for. Yeah. Look, in, at the back of all this, we need to keep a stable country. And when you're a journalist, you must have all these things running. There's no need to put this tension in people, keep the country on high. You know, I was taught this at a very young age by Bombay. Uh, I mean, <laughs> Abdel Malik Kwekubaku, how to be oh, able yeah. to gauge the atmosphere mm. and put out. So that has been our long-standing tradition. Mm. So I can understand my friends. Some of them <laughs> met me last night. They said, ah, but you should have that minister and this minister. I said, yeah, uh, John, I know you, you like to see a minister for, but please, we also have a country, so mm. let us move on. So I perfectly understand. Mm. Now, the other part of this tweet is the part that you, you, you've made quite clear. You don't want to be mentioning any individuals. Yeah, um, also, Oh, oh, because look, um, as far as I am concerned, you know there are issues of subjudice sub sub here, mm. and I will perhaps not want to go into names of people. It That's is irrelevant. Fair. At the end of the day, the court is showing mm. who is lying and who is telling the truth. Right. I kept on saying that these things that people make noise. You see, we are after the bad guys, mm. and there are some people who are very uncomfortable with taking on these bad guys because yeah. they profit from these bad guys. When mm. you do this, people will come after you. Mm. That's what led to Ahmed Swale's death. Yeah. And we know that these people are always alive there. But we believe in one system, the court system. And already the court has started <laughs> exposing them. So <laughs> that's, that's the point. Mm. And, uh, and I appreciate you're not going to mention any names, but I want to ask about the effect of something. So I'll put the question this way. Okay. Um, since these attacks, uh, I'll call them attacks because they have attacked your personality and your reputation, 
um, things like uh, who watches the Watchman and all of that business. Since those, in fact, before those attacks, there was never that much of a question about Anas and uh, the credibility of, of Anas's work. Since those attacks, those questions have arisen. How do you feel about it? Do you feel like people now question your credibility much more than they ever did? Look, this thing, eh, we learn it from... It's like an every one thing you learn when you are in this profession. Mm. The higher you hit, the more the people come at you. Now, if they've taken human lives, what else can they not take? <laughs> you get the point that I'm making. Mm. So, I expect more questions. But here am I. I'm working with the BBC, for God's sake. Mm. If it is one of it which is true, I won't be where I am. You know the rules that govern us. And I'm saying that time has been the best teacher. The courts already, it's what is happening in court is fun, you understand. The courts will prove it. The good thing also about this country is that you have a right to go to court, take anybody to court. Yeah. If you have any issues that you think somebody should be accused of, you can report the person to the police. And if the evidence is there, you'll be arrested. Mm. If, this, if this all are there, the system. That's why we have to keep growing our system. But as for me and you, you, as you sit here, what attacks have you not got on your person? Not because of anything. Only because you've come in the morning, you are hosting a show, you are talking to people. Our friends, Benadavle, our friends, all of us, don't we get it? The day people stop attacking your integrity, stop attacking your very person, it means you are not being effective as a journalist. Mm. And I believe we are being effective. We are proving that we are the fourth state of the realm. And so the bad guys should always aim at us. But guess what? They never will. Mm. Look at what, how we trended on social media. The whole from Monday, Tuesday, we are still trending. That tells you the confidence that people repose in us. And we must not put that confidence in abeyance. How do you feel about Ahmed Swale's um, still unresolved death? Um, Kojo, I feel terrible about it. Quite terrible. See, Ahmed was a boon of our investigative machinery. Yes, it is true that after Ahmed's death, We've done the Galamse stories. We've done many other stories. But I can confidently say if Ahmed was with us, we could have jumped higher than we are. Um, one thing that Ahmed, me and Ahmed used to talk about is, um, boss, as you do this work, if they happen to kill you, I will continue with the work. But if I happen to be killed. I plead with you, do not give up. Keep pushing the frontiers. Keep doing the good work you do. He said that to you? Yes, he did. So these things, when they hit me, um, it makes me, it still gives me that comfort, discomfort. And I know that the family too is going through some pain because it's not easy. I mean, Ahmed was young, young as all of us are. And um, it's unfortunate that somebody would take his life Mm -hmm. just because he was reporting on a story. And um, um, I can only hope that that will serve as a launch pad for us to do more good work. To so I can't relax because of these things. Mm. To the public, it seems as if there's just really no information forthcoming from anywhere. Like it's a dead end. Is that reality? Well, um, from official dom, I believe if there is anything, they will tell us. Uh, but we, we are not relenting, both me, family, we are thinking through it and then we are hoping that at the end we will be able to find some answers to what happened. You, you, you still don't have answers yourself? You don't know who did this? Well, um, I think it's premature. These things, uh, let's just uh, see, let's, let's keep watching the road to see what happens. It sounds like you do know, but you're just not willing to say. Um, I think that, you see, Investigating investigation is a very calm process. In fact, it doesn't even like talking. It doesn't like what we are doing now. Mm. I'll leave it right there. Um, and and I, I've got to say a big thank you to you for stopping by and uh, giving us a bit of an insight into your latest work. We can't wait for part two. Thank you. Uh, and we wish you the very best of everything. Thank you, Kojo. God bless you. Bless you too. Anas Aremeyao Anas. And uh, as he uh, steps off into the sunset, we, of course, have to deal with 
The issues in front of us this morning and uh, registration is happening around the country. Prof. Kenatifa, uh, who of course is the head of the NIA, has a big job to do and has been on it for a number of years now. And uh, today, an aspect of his job becomes even more important because one of the two documents that will be accepted when you go to register is your national identification card. The other one, of course, is your passport. Um, so we can find out a bit about the NIA and, uh, and what they're doing to ensure that you can get your card, not just for this registration exercise, but for all the other things uh, for which it is purposed. Prof. Atifa, after these. In a world where everything is changing around you, sometimes you need to turn to someone you can trust. You want to move with a change in safer, and we are here to help. Societe General Ghana, we understand change because we have transformed and evolved. No matter how our name may change, 43 years of retail and corporate banking expertise never changes, ensuring stability and trust. Digital innovation as the world moves forward to help you adapt, upgrade and keep up. Bank with Societe General Ghana and enjoy doing your banking your way, whenever you choose. In our digital zone, with cutting-edge digital banking products and quality services. You deserve a better bank and great reward. We agree, the world only moves because you make it move. SG Ghana, the future is you. Hey, welcome back to work. Charlie, thanks, bro. Thanks, the bro. malaria really knocked you down, eh? Charlie, no jokes. Hey. Fever, headaches, vomiting, hey. loss of appetite. I couldn't even eat my usual food. <laughs> you have fufu. How are you going to do it? I hope you got tested before the malaria treatment. Oh, yes, I did. And thanks to Malatu, I kicked out malaria one time. Shout. <laughs> anyway, yeah. sorry to ruin your excitement, but your boss asked of you. Okay. She says she has plenty work for you. <laughs> no problem, Charlie. Strength D. Oh, yes. When malaria strikes, take Malatu, containing Artemisa and Lumifantrine, comes in tablets and suspension for the effective treatment of malaria in adults and children. If symptoms persist after three days, consult your doctor. Mala 2 is manufactured and distributed by Ernest Chemist Limited. This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the FDA. You think your internet service is fast? Wait till you experience Vodafone's ultra-fast fiber broadband. That's right. Vodafone fiber broadband gives you 10 times the internet speed you already get. Open a whole new world of possibilities for the family as everyone gets to do so much more online at the same time on a wider bandwidth. Watch TV, take online courses, play video games, stream, download. <sighs> the list is endless. Available in Accra, Tabelenke, Achimota, Adentan, Islegorn, Adabraka, Adrinkano, Ashoman, Airport Residential, Cantonment, Wager, Abudome, Botre, Dansuman, Jolu, Hacho, and so many more communities. Visit fbb.vodafone.com.gh or any of our retail shops nationwide to check availability in your area and apply now. The future is exciting. Ready? Experience the all-new Honda City, the ultimate versatile vehicle, designed and built with your safety in mind. Having best-in-class Honda CVT engine system with econ function for a better fuel economy, stylish exterior design, modern interior design with a 7 inches touchscreen display, push-to-start button. Experience the Honda City today by visiting the Honda Place at number 59 Graphic Road Accra to experience the all-new Honda City and enjoy three years or 100,000 kilometers warranty. Free registration and easy finance options. Hurry, as this is a limited offer. Call the Honda Place Ghana on 277 558 or 0244-327-489 for more information or email sales at hondagana.com. Honda, the power of dreams. Improvise an auto gas cylinder. Make sure the auto gas cylinder is properly installed by a qualified technician. Always keep a fire extinguisher handy in case of a fire. Stand at a safe distance and attack the base of the flame. Avoid decanting LPG from one cylinder to the other. Domestic transfer of LPG should be avoided. Cars fitted with auto gas cylinders should be filled at the appropriate filling station. A message from the National Petroleum Authority. Because the great 
greatest things are born from the smallest of thorns. Just as your seeds in a rich soil grow to become trees that bear fruits, the Agricultural Development Bank, ADB, helps you sow, invest, nurture, and grow your personal and business plan by serving you with years of banking ingenuity and experience in agribusiness, corporate and commercial banking, consumer finance, e-banking, and many more through our network branches across the country. Whatever the culture, whatever the dream, we grow with you. Call us today on 0302-210-210 or visit www.agricbank.com. ADB, truly agric and more.